What's up, y'all? Um, so I turned twenty-one. I turned twenty-one like a month ago. Um, kind of, kind of crazy. Um, I kind of just wanted to make. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm probably just gonna ramble. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about. I'm. I think I'm just gonna talk about a lot of things. But I felt like I needed to make a video, kind of like documenting that and kind of just like making like a like a time capsule of like where I've been what I'm up to right now and hopefully you know when I turn 25 or 30 or whatever I can look back on this video and kind of just see how I'm feeling and I'm sorry for the quality of this video I'm filming late at night I don't think quality is necessarily the purpose of this video I kind of just wanted to talk if you don't if you don't know me by by now my name is mason Hyslip. um i was born in wabash indiana um i'm not born but i was i grew up in wabash indiana still currently live in wabash indiana um and by looking at my other videos um i like making stuff i like making videos I like making movies um but to say that that's all I've ever wanted to do has not been, that wouldn't be accurate. It's only been like three years since I've been wanting to do filmmaking stuff. Um, I went through phases of like game development and um, like, yeah, like I wanted to be, a, I wanted to be a game dev for like the longest time. I also wanted to do, you know, you know a musician here and there a, a rapper you know uh i wanted to do a bunch of stuff um i want to be a comic book writer i want to learn how to make comics to say i've been through a lot that would be that wouldn't be really the case um i have an amazing like i grew up with amazing parents i grew up with an amazing sister like i would i would do i would I would do so much for them. You know, I would. If I if I get emotional in this video, I also apologize. But um, because I can already start to feel it. Um, I. My family, my family, my friends are. Uh, are very important to me. Um. They, are my biggest support system. And without them, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. I thought I knew what I wanted to do with my life, but then I I figured it out because I was with a very toxic girlfriend in high school. And um, we broke up, and uh, I literally remember waking up one day in my bed and just I remember it was the summer, it was like, it was like summer 2021. I remember being like, yeah, no, this is, this is not, I, that, this is what I want to do with my life. I don't want to, that breakup was a big wake up call for me. Um, because it made me realize that life is, is very short. Um, and you don't know when it's going to end. I don't want to live my life with regret. I don't want to live my life and look back on like, hey, I I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have done that. I, I want to live my life knowing that I tried my best. And I want to live my life knowing that I'm living my dreams or I'm chasing my dreams or whatever. You know, and if I'm, and if I, fingers crossed if I live to be you know 60 70 years old I want to be able to look back on this part of my life and be like I'm happy I did that I I, I don't want to live with regret you know like I said I don't want to be like man if you know I've always I've always liked movies I wonder what would have happened if I tried my hat in that you know because I'm not good at a lot of things you know um I suck at most things. Uh, School-wise, I did not. 
I was always like the average student, you know, I, most of the time I, I'm getting B's and C's. I was getting B's and C's. I wasn't, I wasn't the, the smartest kid in the classroom ever. Filmmaking is, in my opinion, the one thing I'm good at. Or good at enough to make a career out of it. And um, I don't want to give that up. And I'm going to this, this wonderful university that allows me to do what I love every day, you know? And, um, I always, I always think I could be doing more, you know? I always feel like there's always something for me to learn. There's always something for me to try out, you know? And, and I think the past couple of years I haven't been doing that. I want to try to put in the effort to, like, do more to see more, I want to talk to people. I want to talk to more people, and you know, I, I want to get out of my shell. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. I want to, and I feel like I, and I feel like I did that for the most part. Last semester, I'm a junior now. Um, last semester, when I was a sophomore. I feel like I was getting out of my shell more, but now I feel like I wish I was doing more. You know, I like I've lived, I lived, I've lived such an amazing life. You know, and. Um, I've lived such a good life, and uh, I don't want. I'm living such an amazing life right now. I don't like. I I have the I have the best support system that I could ever have asked for. And like as much as I put filmmaking above, like I put filmmaking above a lot of things. I care a lot about it. And I want to be. I want to be the best. I, I want to. I want to be the best I can be. And I want to make a career at this. And I want to have a successful career at this. But without my family, without my friends, without my support system, I wouldn't be able to do any of it. I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of afraid something's going to happen. You know. And. Uh, I don't know. I am. Um, I get insecure a lot. I think everyone I think everyone's smarter than me. I think everyone is more talented than me. I feel like at times I could be doing more. At times I feel like I'm not meant to do this, you know? Um and I compare myself to others, you know? And yeah, I'll compare I'll compare myself to a lot of people. I'll compare myself to uh my friends. I don't really compare myself to my family, but, um, this is gonna make me sound terrible, but I, I compare myself to my girlfriend. Yeah, I just, I don't feel like I have what it takes sometimes. Um, sometimes I don't feel like I'm, like, mature enough, or I'm smart enough, or I don't feel like I'm capable enough, and, uh, I, that really affects me. That really gets me down, um. And when that happens, I'll sometimes take it out on people, you know, and I don't, I, I don't want to do that, you know, like, I, I don't want to lash out at people, but I catch myself doing that from time to time and it sucks. You know, no, no one's, no one's, uh, a big of a critic as I am. I'm, I'm the biggest hater of, um, of myself. I really hope I achieve my dreams. Um... I really hope everything that I have prayed for will come to fruition, you know, and uh, I hope that everyone that is in my life right now stays there because I don't, because I can't do that. I can't do what I want without them. But yeah, no, I just wanted to, I mean, ho hopefully, hopefully when I look back on this video in, you know, however many years, I'll be able to say that. I've gotten over my insecurities and my jealousy and my my confidence, you know. Um, I've also always been seen as like I've always and I've always had self confidence issues like with my body, you know. I remember like being in middle school, 
I remember I would always middle school, high school, but it was definitely middle school. It was definitely middle school more where like I literally remember because I would always wake up like an hour early before school or an hour before school. I remember spending half of my time in the bathroom trying to get my hair to look perfect because I was insecure the way it looked and uh, I didn't want to, I wanted it to be perfect every single day and it just wouldn't. And I would get so down on myself. I would always have issues about my hair. Um, I've always had issues, not not always, but I gained I gained a lot of weight um, in my early year videos. You can see the, the weight that I put on. I was at my highest weight, um, the most I've ever weighed. I, I was 289. Um, I was almost 300 pounds. And um, that that did not feel good. Um, I I would compare myself to everybody, and I would be like, "Oh, that per oh he looks so good. I, I I wish I looked like that," you know. And I remember, I remember wanting a like for for the longest time I was okay with being single. I like I didn't want to. I was like, if I have a girlfriend, it might distract me from filmmaking, and I, you know, and I'm okay with being single. But I don't know. There, there. I don't know. I there was, you know. Uh, but I I remember there were times where I was like, I feel so lonely, you know. I I want a girlfriend so bad. And I, and I feel like I have what it takes to have a girlfriend. I, I feel like I'm a good person sometimes. And uh, I feel like I could, I don't know, I, I really wanted to do, I really wanted to be with somebody. There were times where I really wanted to, to I really wanted that. And um, I started losing weight a year ago now. And um, 70 pounds, 70 pounds down and uh, I'm now, I want to say I was, last time I weighed, I was 221, I think. So, um, around 70 pounds I've lost, and uh, it feels good. It feels good. Um, granted, I'm still not really confident body-wise, but I'm definitely a lot more confident than I used to be. Um, I remember I would always wear baggy clothes because I thought it would make me look smaller. But in reality, it would just make me look even more bigger because they were too big on me, you know. And uh, yeah, it just I I was I was I was so unhappy with the way I looked. And uh, I'm so glad that I was able to get out of that hole. I still have a long way to go. I still want to lose like 30 more pounds, but I definitely think that I definitely I def I definitely feel more confident now. Um, and I kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but I, I found, I found myself a girlfriend and, um, she's cool. She's cool. Um, we've only been dating at, at the time of this recording, we've been dating for two months and, uh, she's great. She's great. Um, I, I hope that we, uh, we continue dating. I hope I don't. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up, but I hope not. You know, um, I hope I don't mess it up. But I'm afraid I'm going to, um, because she, she's really awesome. And uh, there's there, there's times where I don't. Um, there's times where I don't think that there's times there's times where I don't feel like I'm that she that she could she could do better. There's times where I just I, I don't think she likes me back because I'm just like you could be with anybody else, but you're choosing to be with me, you know. And I there's times where I that kind of gets in my head, you know. I didn't think that. 
because this is this is my pretty much my second real relationship and the last one i was in was super toxic and uh i i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm just kind of immature when it comes to this stuff but i didn't think relationships felt this way this is my first healthy this is my first healthy relationship and um it feels good it feels good i don't have to feel like i'm like i don't have to feel like i'm walking on eggshells every time i talk to her i don't feel like i'm I, I don't I don't I don't feel mad at her all the time. I don't feel angry or depressed all the time. She makes me better, you know, and um hopefully I make her better. Hopefully I motivate her the same way she motivates me. And hopefully I motivate my friends and family the same way they motivate me and as of right now, this is this, this honestly, I think this is the most I think this is the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Um, if I want to be real. And that, that scares me. Um, because, yeah, I'm afraid something's going to happen. I'm afraid I want to have a fallout with one of my friends. Or I want to get broken up with. Or someone's going to die or something. I, I don't know. I guess I have that existential fear of like, okay, this is, okay, this is, this is really good. Um, when's it going to stop? because it's going to stop eventually, you know, and, uh, I'm kind of waiting, I'm kind of waiting for that to happen, I'm waiting for the dominoes to fall, you know, or the Jing the Jenga tower to drop or something, I don't know, hopefully when I turn 41, I can look back on this and say that I have gotten over the things that I'm currently struggling with, hopefully I still have an amazing support system, hopefully that I, I achieved everything that i've dreamed of you know if me three years ago saw me now he would he'd, he'd probably start crying honestly you know because i i remember just laying in my bed and just daydreaming about making a movie and my 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 friends my family my my girlfriend you know it, they deserve a lot and uh i want to be able to to give things to them i want to be able to buy my parents a new house i want to be able to buy my friends cars i want to be able to do things with my girlfriend i want to be able to i want to make everyone happy you know and um you know because like i've seen videos of people just giving their parents a new car or new house or giving them a bunch of money and i want to be able to do that one of these days you know i want to be able to like i want when i get older i want to spoil the people in my life is perfect the first 21 years of my life have been perfect it sounds so stupid it really does but you, you follow your dreams follow your dreams you know your friends your family like that's all that's all we have in life really you know keep like keep them close you know because you never know when something would happen to them you never know when they'd be falling out or whatever and you got to keep them close you know it that's all that, that that's all that really matters in life this is 21 year old mason um signing out and uh fingers crossed I get to 41 and I get to make a 41 41st birthday video. So to my future self um I hope everything turned out okay. I hope uh I hope I stuck to the whole filmmaking gig and uh I hope and everyone that's around right now I hope, they're, I hope they're still I hope they're still there with me I hope they're still by my side you know so yeah I love you guys that just about wraps it up see you in the next one oh here what's happening get off
on the ground! No! You'll wait for me. In your tears and in your blood. In your fire and in your flood, I hear you laugh. I heard you sing. I wouldn't change a single thing. The wheels just keep on turning. The drummers begin to drum. I don't know which way I'm going I don't know what I'll become For you I'd wait Till kingdom come Until my days My days are done Say you'll come Set me free Just say you'll wait You'll wait for me Just say you'll wait You'll wait for me Just say you'll wait Where that is, but I'm the champion. And I will be the champion. And that's gonna be in my grasp. So you can shut that off. That's mine. I'm done. This is mine. Well, we had a good match. And now it's time to end it. Bye. <laughs>